Hey everybody, welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. We're now over 95,000 subscribers on the road to 100,000 and need you on board. You can help us get there. So hit subscribe and without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with Chris Flexen who had six strikeouts in seven innings giving up only one run. He had this wicked slider cuttery thing and change up. You might remember that Flexen pitched in Korea, and one of my favorite Flexen moments is when he gave up this absolute nuke and was just like casually, hey, ball me. And look at the shortstop in the background. That is freaking hilarious. It's like he's either never seen a ball hit that far or the national anthem started playing in the middle of the game. Dakota Hudson pitched four and two-thirds shutout innings and had this nasty slider and curveball working. Jamison Tyone was outstanding last night. He had five strikeouts in eight shutout innings. He had this nasty changeup and then fastball slider combination. I'm going to overlay him, and you can see why that combo is so tough. Tyone's ERA this season, 2.49. He's been really good. My filthiest stuff from a starter was from Alec Manoa. He had nine strikeouts in six innings, no walks, and check out these sliders. Opponents are only hitting 186 against Manoa's slider with a 32.7% whiff rate. You can see how much horizontal break and depth he gets on that slider. His slider averages an amazing 15.6 inches of break. But opposing hitters aren't doing that well against his fastball either, averaging only 171. And when combine that fastball and slider, well, you can see why hitters have such a hard time. They look the same, that slider dives away, and the fastball gets to the plate. You're basically left guessing. There weren't a ton of dominant starting pitching performances last night, but hopefully that's about to change because look who was throwing on the field. The most dominant pitcher on the planet, well, he's on his road back. Now on to my filthiest relievers. Jimmy the Human Glitch Herget was nasty again. Not only is his mechanics funky, but he also varies his mechanics. Look at this little leg hang here. And here's an overlay of his curveball and sinker. You can see it's basically the anatomy of a sword. He gets a terrible swing on that curveball because it looks kind of like the sinker and is well inside the sinker and then like hits the brakes and jumps over the sinker and looks like it heads towards the zone. So as a hitter, you're in panic mode. There's nothing you can do but get the old sword. Ryan Helsley was throwing flames and had this 100 mile an hour fastball. Edwin Diaz had a White Castle special and ended the game on a 101 mile an hour diesel. Jordan Romano obliterated the side, picking up his 15th save. And Yuan Duran was simply stealing souls. Just a frighteningly tough at bat. But undoubtedly, the filthiest pitcher of the night was Clay Holmes. Check out this insanity. Holmes had this incredible 98 mile an hour front door sinker. I mean, that is a problem. As a hitter, you think you're going to wear 98 miles an hour to the hip, and it gets the zone. And then look at this. Here's a 100-mile-an-hour two-seamer and an 84-mile-an-hour slider. That slider broke 18 inches, and the two-seamer ran 19 inches. And when you put them together, I'm speechless. That is amazing. As a hitter, I don't know what you can do other than ponder your career choices. And then look at this 100 mile an hour sinker. I know it's a ball, but it looks like a strike the entire way to the plate and then veers right. What a mind blowing pitch and an incredible take. Holmes now has a 22 game scoreless streak, has 26 Ks and only two walks during that streak, with hitters only hitting 058 during those 22 games. He has no walks in his last 17 consecutive innings. Can you say new Yankee closer? I think you can. And now, my Pitching Ninja moment of zen. All right, maybe not zen, but I'm not sure whether to call this a tag or a sack. 